Welcome to my channel and next series about my coloring books I want to start from this quite original steampunk book Search of the Light Buckler which I absolutely love because it has amazing paper which allows you to work with everything and the only boring thing about this book is that if you decide to color it as a story of the main characters who try to find the burglar of the light bulbs then you need to color them in the same colors when they travel in the search of this criminal mind and sometimes it's a little bit boring but this book allowed me to work with many various art supplies and because of the paper it was a huge pleasure in the beginning i tried to work almost in order so in the beginning we have introduction of the main characters i used here acrylic paint uh, various pencils even color soft work quite well here on this paper Cochinor Mondelus also um, here I used neo color crayons for everything apart from the lower part of their flying board I really love to do a uh, watercolor underpaint and then to color details with pencils like I did here background with watercolor and then some color accents face and hair with i believe that there were uh, prisma colors and color softs uh, polychromoses also work quite well here so paper is amazing here i remember it was quite fun trying to color a glass and metal it, it's an old work, so I really tried hard to make metal shiny and of course I didn't know how to add dramatic accent to this page, so I decided that steam and clouds around this steampunk car I can do in orange and pink colors with a little bit of grey. Yeah, it was fun to color it. I think that I hadn't touched it this year, so maybe it's finally time to return to it. I was slightly bored because mm, pictures they are in the same style, I use the same colors. Here it was an um, uh, attempt to use Derwent Graffitins and they were quite good when I did clothes for, the, for this criminal. Apart from the gold, which I probably did with Prisma colors, the wall behind the uh, cl um, clothes of the criminal mind I did with graffitins and on the clouds which have this interesting uh, blue, uh, violet and grey color I used granulating watercolor. It's moonlight I believe and it creates very interesting color changes, color transitions from just one paint you can get very interesting efforts and as I said on this paper everything works really well I do love that many pictures they look like comics we start our journey here I try to show those passes using the same magenta color here then here then here and here it's four steps so Sometimes it's nice, but I don't think that you can color many pictures in a row, you would be slightly bored. But now I feel that I miss this book, so expect in the nearest future that I will do something here. And maybe I will select something from the previous pages, because I really try to color it almost in from the beginning of the story. Or maybe I can do this one, because I love to color metal and glass. And it looks quite an easy page. Apart from this I only have one page in the middle of the book where I tried how I can use gouache. So here are clouds and sky and maybe even part of the board I did with gouache paints and rest with pencils. Nice book and I hope that at least one page I will add to it during the next year. Next I have my two books by Alan Robert.
for a long time I had only one Beauty of Horror number two. And for this Halloween, Amy gifted me this small, cute beauty. And I think that in smaller size I enjoy it even more. I do love paper in Beauty of Horror, but here paper also is quite good. Uh, for this Halloween I managed to do this title page. I tried to select less disgusting pictures from both books, because every time when I post coloring I have a lot of people who unsubscribe from my channel, it's actually funny. But I myself do love to color something in horror style, but not totally disgusting. For me this one is cute and I can play with various materials. Here I used a little bit of neo colors to create interesting light around her hands. Then on top of black acrylic I sprinkled metal paints in the same colors. Then I did the rest of the picture with pencils. So it's nice when you can uh, use even those art supplies which you don't use quite frequently. Some of the pictures Maybe they are not very attractive, but some I absolutely love to color because they are different from those pictures which I usually color, which you everyday color. Mice, flowers, sweet landscapes. Sometimes you want to color something where you can use totally different color palette and practice something new. So here I practiced how I can color skin of vampire. I have this video on my YouTube channel. And apart from um, obvious gray colors, I also added a little bit of jade green and gray lavender. In such way shadows, they look more interesting and the whole body less flat. In the end I added a little bit of highlights from the uh, dramatic wine red background using Caput Mortum, Caput Mortum Violet and it helped me to make a well-balanced color combo. I even think that metallic gold and metallic red which I added to make picture more <laughs> shiny, it also match the style of the page. In the big book I have several finished pictures and again I used various art supplies. This one I did completely with Derwent Color Softs. I love how they behave on this paper, very nice and smooth, so I don't use them very frequently and that's a good opportunity to use my set of Color Softs. I think that I did it after I watched uh, it by Stephen King. Obviously I was inspired, so when I realized that I have in this book picture which I can color after watching it, of course I did it. The next one is one of my two favorites in this book, mostly because of the color palette and this very shiny background, which I again did with new color crayons and a lot of metallic watercolors sprinkled on top of it. Here I used polychromoses for everything apart from her skin, where I needed a pale sage from Prisma Colors and a light aqua. They helped me a lot to make her skin slightly more disgusting. I really want to do these portraits and another one where she is standing near the cauldron. Some of the ah, and that's another one which I want to color. But for now I have only this interesting thrill and here I wanted to make impression that they are coming through the magical mirror. So I added a little bit of smoke around their figures and you can see that I tried to stay in a limited color palette. The frame of this mirror is shiny because of the silver, silver metallic paint and I think that it's interesting because of this effect of smoke around them. Video is also on my YouTube channel, but I also will show you my first picture in this book. I wanted to do this symmetry, again probably neo colors for the background. I just received my set of neo colors and I wanted to use them 
for the big, for the first time on the good paper, so I use them for the sky here. Then I did cemetery with pencils, and a couple of months later I added this um, ghost. I simply tested how white pencil behave on top of neo color, and I decided to make the small addition to the picture. Initially, it was just the cemetery without the cost. Well, that's all for the books of Alan Robert, and now we are moving to the books of Lizzie Mary Cullen. A Magical City was one of my first books, actually a book which gave me this love to adult coloring and which discovered for me this wonderful world. And it was because of Peter Hewitt. When I saw her amazing works here, especially with Magical Darren's Intense, I realized that it could be a hobby which I wanted for my whole life. And I was very happy to find Magical City here in our bookshops on a very good paper. And for a couple of years, Magical City and Magical Journey by Lizzie Mary Cullen were my main coloring books where I colored almost every day. Now I don't use them very frequently. Last month or in October I tried to do one page in Magical Journey and I felt like I lost all my skills and abilities to color something interesting in her books. But maybe one day my mojo for Lizzie Mary Cullen books it will return. I don't know. And between all the books which I own, Magical Journey is my favorite. Even if in Magical City I have the biggest amount of finished pictures. Each of them it's like small puzzle and when you color them you try to resolve such puzzle. Now I think that if I won't limit myself to just ink tense pencils, maybe some of the pictures could look more interesting with more interesting color accents with bigger variety of colors or stronger contrasts. But still, it was interesting to learn better this ink pencils, something unique. And I have a very warm feelings toward this spread because I believe that it was the first picture which I colored for camera for trying to film my coloring process, so I was very nervous, but that was the beginning of my YouTube channel. I would say that these books, they are good for those who don't want to bother themselves with uh, shadows or realistic coloring, but who want to um, improve uh, skills in color balance, because here interesting color palettes it's the most important thing. To select colors for the main object and it doesn't have to be in realistic colors. When I did my last pictures here I went for totally crazy color combos. Um, I believe that's a church in Paris, but I selected blue and green for the walls and this crazy lemon yellow green color for the domes and it was okay but the most important part was to select interesting color combo and I do love how blue walls look together with yellow and orange windows so you can practice interesting color combos how to attract more attention to some of the elements like here a lot of muted colors, all those ochre, brown, terracotta, sepia, and a couple of primary bright yellow, red, and green, which immediately attract your attention to one of the buildings. Some of the pictures, they are so crazy, like, like this uh, Tokyo page, that I absolutely have no idea how to color it beautifully. I can color it just by covering with some color areas, but I usually want to do it in a nice way, trying to do something beautiful, and by some of the pictures I am totally confused. Many pictures help me to learn interesting things about cities. Um, when I color city, 
which I hadn't visited yet. I try to look at reference pictures. Even for such style, I try to find real regions of the cities which inspired Lizzie Mary Cullen and indeed, apart from um, this bridge which was quite famous, I also try, uh, managed to find pictures from different regions of the city with indeed where they have such beautiful cottages. So it's also quite instructive. And it has a lot of nice pictures from England. I enjoyed doing this um, Chinese part. Well, maybe some of the pictures I still can color like this space or snow cottage. I did a couple of experiments in this book using felty pens. Here I used uh, pit pens, but I can't say that I like what I got. I used uh, pit pens because here we have this uh, mosaic inspired by Gaudi Park and it was impossible to color such a tiny ornaments with pencils. But I would prefer to finish it with ink tens only and to have the whole book in one style. I do love this St. Stephen's Cathedral from Vienna, but I don't know how to finish empty background and I don't want to leave it on the white area. Many crazy experiments I did here. It helped me to feel more relaxed in my coloring that I can add something from myself. <laughs> if I am not happy with one of the pages, I can always find something similar and to start from the beginning. So it was a long journey. I don't know now how I managed to color so many pictures. Maybe because I had a very limited amount of books and a very limited amount of art supplies. Just ink tents, color softs, mondelus. So I had to color and to use what I had. And actually, I think that it's still quite lovely. Totally different from my other books. And in such a way, I do love this one. Sometimes I feel that maybe I overdid and I used too many colors, so everything is very bright and motley. But sometimes I think that it actually suits the style of Lizzie Mary Cullen's book. So now my favorite, Magical Journey. Well, here I again tried to color in order, because here we have journey of Lizzie and her punk. <laughs> so I started not from the root, but somewhere here. I can say that the spreads, they were something interesting. I used acrylic paint for the background, but I needed to start from something easier. Not from my favorite page, because I purchased this book because of this map. I think that it's really beautiful. It was crazy slow and long coloring, but I think that in the end it worked. Here we have beginning of their journey from London. Here you can see that this kind of pictures it's not exactly for my style, so I colored just part of these pictures and I hadn't finished. That's one of the craziest pictures I ever colored. Apart from the whole set of ink tents, which I managed to put on one page, I also managed to use my acrylic metal paints. I think that it was because I just purchased those tiny bottles of gold, copper and bronze, and I eagerly wanted to use them at least somewhere. So this page <laughs> suffered from this desire. It has a lot of those shiny dots. Uh, many pictures, they are crazy by themselves, and again, you need to resolve these puzzles somehow. This kind of spreads I prefer the most, where you have buildings, where you have tiny 
animals and people. So you can find many interesting elements. And you don't need to do something for the empty backgrounds. Here I tried to use watercolors because obviously I didn't want to color similar trees with pencils. But I didn't like the look not so bright, color look somehow muted and dull. Uh, maybe one day I will color it, but I am not sure. Some of the pictures I colored when I was just watching something in very mechanical way, without any artistic purpose. But some of the pictures I really wanted to make beautiful, so I did color planning for the most interesting elements. Oh, here my terrible attempt to do fair skin tone with ink tense and it failed and it even managed to unfortunately bleed through from from this page to the portrait, so it almost failed. Again, when I look at it, I think that I did such a long work here. That was my very simple October coloring when I tried to color pictures related to um, traveling to Voyage on Voyage Sam. So I did this very simple one and I realized that. Somehow I feel bothered that it lacks contrast, it lacks shading and I constantly wanted to return to regular pencils. That I totally forgot all my favorite color combos for ink tense. Maybe I need to use ink tense more frequently but in different styles of book. I think about using ink tense for dragons in a Ravine Filan book or for animals also in Ravin Filan book on the good paper where they can show all their properties. I think that here I already started to use uh, neo colors when I needed background and it really helped me a lot because with um, ink tense I always struggled doing nice smooth gradients on the sky. Mm, here background I did with gouache paints I believe and the rest with ink tense. Again this one I definitely did background with neo colors. That was fun. This one I do love. Well, I want to color this one, but somehow now I don't have such a courage as I have in the beginning of my coloring. When I look at it, I feel totally frightened. Here I used acrylic paints and I added more details to the map. And I do love this red Cadillac. Another crazy color combo for St. Louis building, I decided that the craziest is the most interesting, so I have this very original colors for the sky. I did majority of these pictures because of the color along in Facebook groups, so it was actually quite helpful. I also have her Bon Voyage, but here I have considerably lesser amount of pictures. Sorry, as usual I skipped part where I need to put bookmarks. That was my first picture here and I can say that I was very happy. Too many lines. Here, um, I think that this one is okay. I did enjoy doing this small picture about a Burgundy part of France. Nice building and of course a wine. I imagine that here maybe we have lavender fields, other beautiful flowers. On the left side I tried to imitate something like Van Gogh paintings. Here we have 
Musée d'Orsay and even if the uh, Starry Night of Van Gogh is not in this museum, I still was inspired by his works to show that inside of this museum we have a lot of other Impressionist paintings. And I have one work here which I did completely with Prisma colors, and I think that maybe for this book, this style of pictures it suits better, it's more stylish, more delicate. So if I decide to continue coloring in this book, I think that I will try to do it with regular pencils. Next I have my Teleho in the book about England. I did this teapot, of course, <laughs> England and tea. Um, here I used a little bit of uh, Prisma colors on the white parts of the china teapot and the rest it's uh, ink dense pencils. Here I tested my graffitins when I purchased them. I have this small heart. I have Queen Elizabeth portrait again, uh, Prisma colors and ink tense for the background. Then I have this terrible struggle with Anne Boleyn, where I very easily did her dress, uh, her face obviously I did with pencils, and then I um, changed her, the background maybe five times, I totally disliked it. I did ink tense, then I covered it with acrylic paint, because ink tense background look untidy and distracted attention from her dress, so it was struggle. Now, well, it's more or less acceptable, but it exhausted me. Here I have this stained glass window, quite interesting coloring. And again, I used Prisma colors for the main characters and ink tense only for the glass inside of the window. Of course, this one I did because I was inspired by Downton Abbey and I absolutely love color palette here on everything, especially on this floral rest on the plate. And I think that I have another one here. Yeah, this one. For the Hampton Court castle, I decided that I can use um, interesting fantasy colors for the leaves. Maybe they will represent flower uh, trees in bloom. So instead of leaves, they have something like flowers. I think that it's also acceptable in such books like Lizzie Merritt does. And I have Magical Christmas, obviously, which also was for a long time my one and only book for the winter season. I didn't have anything else, so I also managed to do a lot of pictures here. Okay, let me adjust my camera. I don't know how I managed to do such huge spread. And a um, couple of years ago I discovered that I totally lost again my coloring mojo when I started to color in Teresa Goodrich in Tatiana Bagema books. I skipped this book in favor of those. You can see that I made a couple of attempts to return to this book and I still have many beautiful spreads which I want to color. But somehow I never have enough courage and time in December, in Christmas time, to do something decent here. I don't want to do something um, in easy way, without thinking, without good shading. Um, and I can't do something decent here. I love this tree and I loved it from the very beginning. That it has something else apart from traditional green color. That's one of my favorite spreads. It's Victorian style Christmas.
Some of them look so detailed. It's nice, but you have to be very careful when you select main characters and background elements. Well, let's hope that one day I will return to these books and step by step I will continue to fill it in because when I look at all finished pictures I feel that a huge work and huge efforts I put into this one so it would be nice to continue coring it. But even now, with just half of the pictures finished, I still consider it as one of my best books. At least it reminds me about many happy hours which I spent with this book and with my ink tense pencils. If you still love to color Lizzie Mary Collins book, all these videos they are on my YouTube channel. There is a playlist for Lizzie Mary Collins book and I think that the amount of videos there is huge. Well, that's all for this part and I think that the next video will be about books about fairy tales or maybe about Kirby Rosanna's books. I will think about what to show you next. Thank you for watching and until my next videos.